Hi, my name is Christine Ockleby, and I do live online classes in Minecraft at Cobblestone Academy. Today, however, I'm doing a recording of an activity you can do at home to practice grammar in Minecraft. And what I'm doing is modeling sentences. And to help me do that, I've built this little display of the different types of words. So we have noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. And these are the eight main types of words, or the eight types of words. And I have assigned each of them a different type of block. So the ones that have to do with nouns, the noun, pronoun, adjective, those I've used different woods for. And a pronoun sort of replaces a noun, so I've used a different type of wood. An adjective modifies a noun, so I've used a modified type of wood. Planks. And verbs and adverbs I have done in stone. Again, with a verb as your basic stone, and then adverb is a modified or modifying type of stone. Now I have prepositions, I have conjunctions. Conjunctions I did with slime blocks because they join two things together. And interjection, and I did interjections with pink wool because they sort of stand out. So what I'm gonna do is model a sentence. I look at the type of wood or the type of block that I need and I just press the middle mouse key and I get that type of block. So I'm gonna start actually with an adjective. I'm gonna put an adjective down and I'm gonna use a special type of adjective which is called an article, the. The zombie. So now I have the subject of a sentence. I have the zombie and I need verb next. So the zombie climbed. So the zombie climbed. This could be a complete sentence on its own. It has a subject and then it has something that is being said about the subject. The zombie climbed. We're going to expand on it though. We're going to use a prepositional phrase. So the zombie climbed up a and what type of wood? Tree. So the zombie climbed up a tree. Okay, now we have a longer sentence. We have a prepositional phrase and prepositions are little words that come before another noun. And that noun's adjectives if it has an adjective attached or sometimes more than one adjective. So up a tree all work together as one prepositional phrase. So the zombie climbed up a tree. Now let's try a different prepositional phrase. The zombie climbed down. What could the zombie climb down? Down. the, let's go two adjectives here, the dark pit. And pit is a noun, so we will get a noun here. Okay, so I could keep modeling sentences, but what I want you to do is actually pause this video, build this display with the different types of words, and model a few sentences of your own. What are you going to use to start your sentence? You'll probably start it with a pronoun or an adjective and a noun or just a noun. Often if we're starting a sentence with what's called a proper noun, which is a name, we don't have any adjective with it. We'd say Steve did such and such. If we're using a common noun, like zombie, we'll often attach an adjective to it, the zombie. Okay, so you have your subject, which is your, your noun or your pronoun. Then you have your verb, and I want you to include a prepositional phrase. Well, 
it will have a preposition like down or around or behind or under. It will have an adjective like the or a, and it will have a noun, which is the object of your prepositional phrase. In my example here, the noun is pit. So make your sentence, have your subject, your verb, and your prepositional phrase. Pause this video while you do that, and then turn the video back on. Okay, have you made a sentence? I hope you have. Um, feel free, actually, if you do, to post it on my Facebook page, a picture of modeling the sentence. In the meantime, I'm going to go on with another example. She dreams about Minecraft. She is my pronoun to begin with. Dreams is the verb. About is a preposition and Minecraft is the object of that preposition. And I wanted to show this sentence modeled because often when we think about prepositions, we think about things that can be done to something. So we might have a book and we think about we could put something above it or below it or behind it or beside it. We think about relationships in space. But prepositions, they make a connection, they show a relationship, but it's not always in space. She dreams about Minecraft. Minecraft is, it's connected to that beginning part. It's a showing the relationship between her dreaming and Minecraft, but it's not a relationship in physical space. Okay. That is all for today. I will have more videos on grammar and Minecraft soon. If you've enjoyed this video, please share my website, share the video link. More views is great inspiration for making more videos. Bye.